Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in the Sunturn Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to detail the mall building. Now, uh, out before me, I've got all the items that you could potentially use. I am not going to use all of them because obviously there's a crap ton here. And, you know, that's just because you can do a lot with the mall building. So, I'm going to be going over uh, some of the main designs you could put in these rooms. And pretty much uh, the general way that you should design them all. So pretty much the main idea behind them all is that you've got a bunch of vendor shops, and I think there's eight of them, uh, there's four on either side, and each one should be unique in your map, otherwise you know, it's going to be a little repetitive and uh, lesser quality. So um, obviously there's a lot of items out here, and so I'll just be going over a few of the main ones that you can create. So uh, let's start out with a classic um, sort of house shop, I guess, with housing equipment like dishwasher, oven, clothes washer, counters, stuff like that. Now, of course, you guys can separate these as much as you want and do maybe just one on clothes washers and dryers, or, you know, you could do all of them together. It really depends. So uh, I'm just going to grab a couple of these counters, and we'll start with those. And I'm just going to choose one of these rooms haphazardly. Uh, it doesn't really matter because, you know, they're about the same size. Actually, I'm pretty sure they are the same size. And we'll just be organizing them differently. So um, I'm going to start by just making a row of sinks over here. So obviously something people might want to buy in this shop is a sink. So I'm going to arrange it sort of close to the wall. Now uh, it's kind of tricky because we don't want this to seem like a kitchen area. So we're going to actually leave big gaps in between each of the sinks. And let's see, I'm going to go grab the wooden one as well just to get some variety in there. Sort of like the vendor is got multiple versions. So I'm going to control B and control N, going to rotate that and get that about the same distance apart. And you know, if we scoot these in one more, we can even fit four of these in here. So um, I'm sort of going to leave these right here. I'm going to try to center them a little bit more in the room. And that's pretty good for the sinks. Now, they're completely not touching the wall. That's probably a good thing. They're not supposed to be installed. You can even pull them away from the wall a little bit to emphasize that this is not like a kitchen here. This is, you know, displaying content um, that people could buy. So we could do something similar for the counters. Obviously, you guys can decide which walls you want to place these on. But uh, for the counters, you could even stack them. Now, the thing, the reason I didn't stack the, the sinks is because they actually do have like the faucet heads and stuff. So I would suggest probably not stacking those just because uh, you would, I don't know, it would look weird having the faucet heads glitching in. But uh, we could definitely stack these and, you know, that wouldn't look too bad by itself. Now, it is kind of weird uh, just to have these sort of things sitting out. But um, it's kind of hard to design these because there's not much else you can do with this space besides stack objects. Now, of course, you guys, if you want, you can uh, randomize and rotate this stuff. If you want, for example, I don't have to have this exactly in the center. I could rotate some of these, you know, make them seem a little more natural as well. Now, something you could do to emphasize that those are being sold is, let's see, there should be a newspaper in here. I know I've set one out. Take a newspaper. Let's copy that because I'll use it later. And we can actually put a newspaper on the wall as sort of like a label for what this product is. So let's say maybe I want to have one for each type. I could leave those on the wall and maybe that could act as a label. It really depends on how you want to decorate this. So let's grab some of the other items. Let's do dishwasher and oven. You know, we could even stick a fridge in here too. I think I got fridges out there. So let's get a dishwasher here. And, you know, I'll start rotating these a little bit. Because why not? For the dishwashers, uh, you could stack those as well. They're nice and square. That would definitely not be out of place. Uh, and I'm going to put the ovens here just to sort of fill up the last of the space. All right. Okay, so there's a general idea of how to do that. Obviously, guys, uh, it looks kind of messy, but you know what? It'll work. Um, if you want to use the newspaper trick, you could do it on all of this, and you can stack some of these if you feel like it. So one other thing that you can do to cap it all off is you could use a register and a checkout aisle. Now, I wouldn't suggest using checkout 
but uh, definitely use register because um, obviously since this is a shop people are going to want to buy something now there's a couple ways you could do this you could either set the register up on the window frame sort of here or you could use a table um, there's tables out here I'll grab one or you could use a table and have it sort of by the door with the register on it um, not one is better but it really depends on your stylization preferences so you could do either of these And guys don't forget uh, since we're doing uh, kitchen sort of stuff you can put fridges on this wall as well actually I'll just freaking grab one so yeah now of course if you guys wanted to do only fridges you could do that as well so that's that's a general setup for this sort of uh, building and room there so let's move on and let's get some sort of other type of shop so let's see we've got uh, guns so this would be actually a pretty cool one to have inside your uh, mall just because it is a little unusual um, actually there's a good thing you can use for the guns is a wardrobe number three you could actually use all of these wardrobe one two and three but wardrobe number three is one of the new ones from the Russia map so I'll make sure to incorporate that in here so uh, something that you need to do is just decide on how you want to arrange the space obviously you're probably gonna want to have some sort of wardrobe in here um, there's those are generally used for storing larger guns like rifles stuff like that um, you could also put some sort of shelf or crate to put some guns on I'm gonna actually use a metal table just because it does look pretty good it sort of fits the metal theme it is a little uh, black and white in comparison but uh, it'll look pretty good and I'll put a couple uh, gun shelves here now the design for this is gonna be pretty simple because you know I'm not actually gonna be putting uh, very much on top of these because the guns that I'm gonna be putting there will be the item spawns now one thing we will use for sure are some of these crates so crate number two three five six Russia crate number two Russia crate number one Russia crate number three and Russia crate number four the Russia crates are obviously the new ones and these old uh, forest and desert camel ones are the old ones so, so I'm just gonna grab the desert camel ones and I'm arranging them on here uh, I'll put one on top of the table and of course you guys can arrange these a lot more you can have tons of them um, I'm gonna copy paste that and I'm gonna make a stack of these just because why not looks pretty good and so just be creative with this obviously there's lots of things you can do um, something else you can do with these types of crates is set one on end that would actually look pretty good so I'm gonna do that fudge uh, I need to set this to local rotation and so I can set this on end and you could have it like leaning up against a table or something that would look fine as well uh, because we do have tables there, something you could also put is a chair. Um, I'm just going to use metal chair just because it matches. I definitely would suggest matching your ta chairs to your tables. So that would look fine. And guys, you could even just leave it like that. Um, one other thing you could do, sort of as if that was a place for a guy to work on, like maybe repairing a gun or loading ammo, you could put a lamp here. Uh, that would just add a tiny bit of extra detail make sure you guys do have some sort of gun spawn on here though because having a blank table is gonna look weird unless you don't have unless you have a gun on there so like a pistol a rifle it really really could be any sort of gun so besides this we do have a lot of room to fill so we do have some things we can put in here so another thing you could put is some more tables I'm gonna stray away from that because I have put some down already um, you could put some crates so um, I'm gonna grab some of these crates here just because they could be places for uh, ammo storage something like that and they always do look pretty good just as uh, normal detailing stuff because you can randomize them nicely now they are pretty large so if you guys feel like they're taking up too much space uh, definitely feel free to scale those down because you know obviously the scale tool is something you should know how to use now I'm only gonna p place maybe one or two stacks of these because I am sorta of running out of space I do wanna leave it sort of open in the middle and of course guys make sure you do rotate these um, it just adds a lot more detail to your map and it makes it look more natural sorta of like people have been here and moved stuff around 
So maybe one more spot I could put uh, the pile is I'm gonna I might make it out of these small ones only. I'll put it like right here, maybe more of in the middle. Get so guys also feel free to actually fill the middle of these spaces up. Uh, it's not realistic that all these shops are going to only fill the edges. Definitely uh, make sure that you understand it's an option to have some of the stuff in the middle as long as it's not completely blocking the space. Obviously you do want area for customers to come in and walk around but having something like that in the middle is not going to be a problem. Now we do have a little more wall space. Uh, we could leave that open because there's not much room between these crates in the middle but uh, one extra thing we could just put down that usually works in a lot of places is just a normal shelf and I'll just slap that in there. So guys, uh, that's pretty much how you can do a gun shop. Um, definitely be putting these in your map. This is another good place to have gun drops for players. And of course, uh, before I forget, make sure you do put a register down. Uh, definitely make sure that each one of these places has your register, just because um, pretty much no shop in the mall is not going to have a place to check out and buy stuff. That just doesn't make sense. So make sure you have a register somewhere around the shop. I'm just going to leave it there because it fits nicely and there's not much more room in here. Okay, so that's two out of eight potential spots that we have filled. So one of the other things we can make a shop about is computers. And this could either be a computer uh, store sort of thing and a, or it could be sort of a computer cafe where people just come and use public computers. Either way would work. So um, I'm actually going to grab all of these and I'll bring them up to this one right here and I will need some tables as well so I'll grab those and I'm gonna grab a matching chair so this is technically all you really need to have some sort of computer store or computer cafe um, but you guys can of course add more things so I'm just gonna start by making a row of tables against this wall here it looks like I can fit three here and that's pretty nice I'm going to have to scoot it over a little bit. And they will glitch into the wall just a tiny bit, but that's not terrible. Um, okay, so I'm going to copy, paste this, and bring it over to the other side just to simplify things for myself. Uh, if you guys copy and paste and sort of repeat patterns, it does make it easier on yourself. So definitely consider doing that. Uh, don't do it too much that it's like really obvious all you're doing is copy pasting. But um, do it, you know, to a certain extent so it makes it easier on yourself. Now in terms of an internet cafe, uh, what you're going to want is having some sort of desktop underneath each of these tables. Now I am randomizing each of these and rotating them all differently, stuff like that. I would definitely suggest that. Now uh, you're probably going to want to have uh, chairs here for people to sit on. Um, it only makes sense. Now of course you guys don't have to have one chair for every table. You could have a chair missing, you could have a chair knocked over in the middle of the room. It really depends on, you know, what you want to do with the area, how nice you want it to be, how uh how lived in it looks. Now of course if you guys are going to be using these desktops, which are actually computer number two, you should have some sort of monitor because obviously uh the desktop parts, the tower, is not all you need to use a computer. You need to be able to see the screen. So make sure you have these monitors here. And that's pretty much it for those two areas. Now we do have a lot of area in between. And there's a couple things we can do in here. Um, we could use a similar sort of format, except have it against this wall. I'm actually going to stray away from that and maybe do something a little more unique. I will use these tables, though. So I'm going to use uh, something about in the center of the room. Let's see maybe around here it's hard to judge based on the outside and of course guys it doesn't have to be completely even uh, it really just depends on how even you want it to be so I'm actually gonna make it line up with these two window frames and I'm gonna have it right in the middle I'm just gonna put a third row of tables right here and I'm gonna leave it like that so we don't take up too much room near the door now I'm gonna have these old crappy desktops on here just to show you guys what it looks like uh, obviously you can use variety if you want you can keep them all the same um, it really depends on what your preference for the design is of course I can also put some chairs down and actually if you put the chairs down it fills up this room quite nicely um, it's borderline too cramped but uh, actually in that corner 
um, I'm sure you can get through here pretty nicely without having too much issues. So uh, definitely don't discount that as an option. There's also computer number five. So you could use that instead of these other white computer number twos. So there we have an, a computer cafe and it looks pretty nice and it's detailed well. Okay, so that's three out of eight. Now, of course, guys, there's so much we could do here. There's more items left. Um, something else you could do is have uh, a shop that is in disrepair or that's full of boxes. That's actually why I've got all these cardboard objects here and the web. So I'm going to use uh, this one here, even though one of the front ones is probably the least likely to be sort of in disrepair. And I'm just going to create uh, big piles of boxes. And I'm going to actually scale these a bit just because why not um, it actually makes a lot of sense that you'd have larger boxes you know stacked around instead of the smaller ones now you guys can do all sorts of stuff with this you can put them on end uh, just know that when people shoot them there will be an animation that they open and so that really just depends on how you want to design it now I'm not gonna fill this entire area because it is gonna take a lot of boxes but just know feel free to scale these uh, make sure you stack them it also makes it look really natural uh, make sure that you lean them up um, or you don't really have to lean them up but it does look good uh, it does make it look more natural and use different sizes for sure in different colors try to mix them up here and there and you can do a bit of copy pasting with these box piles like for example you make a nice box pile that you like you can copy paste that over to another part of the room just make sure you change it up a little bit so it's not an identical copy uh, when you start doing that identical copy stuff people are gonna notice that and they're gonna make they're gonna think poorly of your map because you know you didn't put that much work into it now of course with these spider webs uh, make sure you do put these up this definitely enhances the idea that it hasn't this room hasn't been used in a while uh, how you wanna place these is up to you I generally like placing them in the corner or on the floor I'm actually gonna have to get another one of these or in some sort of crack of the wall it really just depends and see if I can arrange this nicely it's hard to see actually how it's moving because the object is a little weird okay there we go so you could do something like this as well where it's just on the wall and you can do it also where it's just on the floor so to raise it up just a tad so it's just above the floor line you can still see it you could do it so it's just on the ceiling um, lower it down of course just a little bit so you can see it like there now of course guys as I said before uh, definitely have boxes all throughout the room you can have them in the middle uh, you could have them in the corners on the sides you could have huge stacks that go all the way up to the ceiling um, you could do all sorts of stuff so make sure you know you are creative with that and you know just fill up the space make it look good now something else you could put in there that I actually didn't have down is bricks um, if you look up brick you could put this sort of clutter in here as well it depends on how much clutter you actually want to have usually this stuff is found more of outside but it would definitely fit that area you could also put rebar that might be a little over the top in terms of clutter because who the heck is going to have rebar indoors and you can also have debris as well now that's also a little overboard but you know depending on how trashy you want this room to be it could definitely fit so you know those are different varieties of you know how messy you want this room to be but all it would work just really depends on what your preference is so we've got now uh, four out of eight we're halfway there uh, we got four more to make to fill up this entire building so let us create a grocery store why not so inside this mall it could be a pretty nice mall and have a grocery store in it so I've got uh, shelf number two here this is the classic grocery store shelf um, I would definitely suggest using this if you have this in there people are gonna recognize immediately that you meant to have a grocery store there just because pretty much in every grocery store on like all the maps it has this this uh, item so you know it's kinda awkward because this item there's not really enough room to put two rows here but you could definitely put uh, one and two quarters of a row sort of thing and I would snug these up to the wall so d make sure you leave enough room for the character to get in there the player to get in there and take the items off on this side we're gonna do something a little different um, another item that I forgot because there are so freaking many 
is the cooler uh, so cooler number one this is a fantastic one for grocery stores and actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull this away from the wall and have some coolers against this wall here that just seems to fit the space a little better Now, of course guys as I'm setting all of these sort of things up feel free to create your own uh, orientations and uh, layouts obviously there's a lot of space and you as a builder have to decide how to fill that up nicely so you know my opinions and my ways of doing it are not necessarily going to be the best for your map so feel free to customize those okay so this is going to be okay uh, it still looks a little dorky um, I may create another one and have it maybe along the same line line it up to the wall this doesn't look too bad now I'm gonna leave a gap for the people coming in the door to get through and I did mesh these inside each other there's actually two here uh, as long as you keep them straight uh, nobody would really notice it doesn't look that bad at all so we do need to have a checkout for this one and I'm actually gonna move these to the side just a little bit so that we've got room for a checkout here that is why I have the checkout actual checkout item so this works really well for grocery stores and there's multiple ways you could uh, line this up you could line it up like this that's definitely gonna fit with the style of this building you could have it like that that's probably the preferred and you would have a register let me go grab one of those you'd have a register right here now this is the classic sort of grocery store layout I would definitely suggest doing this you could also rotate this checkout item any other sort of way and you could even use a table for this so that's always an option as well but this will just be a good way of having you know some extra food items inside your mall so uh, we've got uh, two left I think and uh, we can do multiple things with these so let's see we could have a, a sort of furniture store we've got couches here uh, we could have uh, a bathtub I guess I could have added that to the kitchen appliances because that could also double as a bathroom appliance we also have some technology and controls so I'm actually going to do this one um, what's kind of interesting is Nelson recently added a lot more of these controls it was a couple updates ago but you know there's now a lot of options and variety for this so what we can actually do is maybe make half of this room a control shop now actually something that's kind of interesting about these two rooms right here is that the orientation of the doors are different so for the other ones the doors come in the front and same with these ones up here for this one over here they come in the side so this does give you an option to you know arrange these rooms differently so actually I'm gonna move these up here to the top one over here the last one that's left and I'm gonna sort of split this room into two parts so on this half I'm gonna have sort of a technology side on the other half I'm gonna do something different and really what you do what you pair up is up to you so I'm just gonna sort of show these and put these on the wall probably gonna have one or two of each just so that there are duplicates so it seems like you know the customer can buy more than one if they want and I'm just gonna line these up against the wall now you know there's this could go multiple ways uh, the customer or the players could see this as maybe a control room for the entire building that's probably not what you want them to see because it's kinda weird to have a control central control room for a mall doesn't really make sense but uh, especially if you put the newspapers up as I mentioned at the beginning for potential like price tags or something like that um, you could make this seem more like a shop now if you want to put like tables in here and have them sitting on tables that would work as well um, I'm gonna use this normal table here just because it fits the best so we could do this and snug it up against the wall and put the technology things on top of the table as well uh, either way works uh, it really depends on your preference of course now of course you can have multiples of these you can stack these on top of each other pretty much just fill up the room now because I said I was going to split that area into two uh, it would make sense to use some sort of divider so there's two types of dividers divider one and divider two divider one is a little smaller and so of course you can scale that and uh, make that whatever size you want but I'm going to use divider one just because it looks a little more like a proper divider here and I'm just sort of just going to split this right down the middle of the room and the doorway so right as soon as you walk in you'll have uh, two options you can go to the right to whatever is over here I haven't decided that yet 
or you could go to the left to the technology store. And so they're going to be nicely separated by this divider so you can have two smaller sort of shops, you know, in one area. So let's say I wanted to have, let's say, a gym. Uh, these are also using newer items from Russia Map. Um, we could put some gym weights in here. Let's see, what are they actually called? They're called weights, all of them. So let's set up some weight tables. Um, guys, you can pretty much set these up however you want. I'm just going to make a row and have maybe like three or four of these. I'm going to put plenty of space in there just so that uh, I can fill up the space nicely. Now in terms of these other weights, I'm going to you know, rotate them a little differently. Actually, I'm going to rotate them randomly and I'm going to put a couple of them down. And in fact, you guys can make them different sizes to make them seem like they are actually weighed differently. So I'm going to do the sizes at the end. Um, for now, I'm just going to lay them out and put them at different angles. So let's do the sizes. Um, I'm going to make this one smaller. Make this one, oh, fudge. Not the right axis. I'm going to make this one freaking huge. Obviously, if you change the size, you may have to lift them up or down just a bit to get them to fit into the floor. Now I'm going to make this one tiny. And, you know, that looks pretty good for a general uh, lifting area. So for these other weights, uh, weights number one, you can do a couple things with these. You can either set them on the rack here. That's probably the intended way to display them. You could also put them on the ground, though. Some people do lift uh, weights directly from the ground. So over here, I will have a couple of them over here, just sort of on the ground, sort of laying around, waiting for somebody to pick them up. And you guys could scale these as well. Uh, it might get a little weird if you scale them too much, but you know if you make it just a tad bigger, it actually looks pretty good and it adds some variety. Now there's not much room here, so you know you can't do much with this area. But of course, if you guys wanted to make this uh, sort of gym section take up the entire space, you could do that. Now, of course, uh, this one, this sort of gym area doesn't necessarily require a register, but if you wanted to have this control and technology area have a register, you could do that as well. Just put that on the windowsill like we did some of the other ones. So that looks pretty good. That is uh, almost all of them. We've got two rooms left. Now, what else could we put in there? So we've got some barbecues. That would be something we could definitely could put in there. Um, that could be for a general appliances. I could combine the barbecue and the clothes washer. And let's actually do that. So for this one here, I'm going to combine a bunch of odds and ends sort of things. What's happening? Okay. They're so far away from each other that they're glitching through the walls. So I'm going to have some odds and ends sort of appliances in this shop. Now I'm going to have a couple of these. I might rotate them. And I'm actually going to get the clothes dryer out here. For some reason, I didn't have that. So let's get the dryer here. And we'll have that set out as well. And I guess we'll just do two just to sort of match. Actually, we'll do three to sort of mix it up. So, of course, you guys don't have to rotate them if you don't want to. Uh, something else I'm going to have in here is a barbecue because it is another sort of home appliance in a way. And there we go. We got some barbecues. Now, there is a second type of barbecue. Uh, it looks a little trashy, more for outdoors. You can have that in there if you want. Of course, you guys don't have to. I'm also going to put a fridge in here just because uh, I didn't actually use the fridge before. So, might as well use it now. So, I'm going to put this here and you know maybe have two or three of them and I'm actually gonna move these towards the wall just a little bit so they don't come into the middle of the room as much uh, they are quite out there so there we go we've got our fridges aligned up now there are a few other household objects you could have in here let's see what else could we use we could have uh, chairs we could have lamps we could have any sort of that stuff I could put a couple lamps here. Um, I could have the smaller lamps on a table. I'm going to use this metal table just because it was the only one there. And, you know, we could do anything like that. Put any sort of household items in there. Actually, you know what? Something I was meaning to do is put a chair in there. Because why not? A big, a big couch chair. Okay. So there we have it. We have sort of an odds and ends household furniture shop. 
It sort of reminds me of like a Home Depot or something. Sort of a weird mixture of housing stuff. So we only have one more, and I actually do have sort of a cool idea for that. Um, you could put a filing cabinet area, sort of like a, an item storage sort of area in here. You could also put a library. So uh, let's put some of these lockers here up against the wall. And of course, guys, there's many other options for how you can fill these rooms. Uh, there's obviously tons of items, and there's actually even more. So as of the update of this Friday, uh, this is not an update video, but I might as well let you guys know, um, there is some new objects that are added to the object editor. So if you look over on the side above the search bar area, you can see there's some new uh, check boxes there. Um, there's one for barricades, structure, NPCs, uh, stuff like that. And this pretty much uh, is related to the fact that you can now place normal in-game buildables in the map editor. So of course I haven't uh, listed any of these in this current build project. Man, that's a lot. That may be too many. Uh, how you want to detail this, you know, is up to you. I might like use the rest of the half of this room as sort of a a library. Of course, I'm not going to detail the books for you guys. Uh, I know that takes a freaking long time. Uh, it really depends on how much detail you want to put in. So, you know, back to the topic of having in-game buildables. So, for example. Uh, in game, you can have you know like a sandbag structure. You could build. Let's see. Let's let's look for some of them. So let's uh, eliminate all of them except for barricades. So we've got all of this stuff that we can put in our map. We've got a rain barrel, the rain barrel that you craft and put water in. We've got a pine barricade. You know, obviously the center of these items are a little glitchy, but so you can actually place these stuff in there and it is breakable so that's pretty interesting um, there's like cage lights you can put lights around your map there's like claim flags cots all of this stuff so you know when you're when you're designing these buildings there's actually more stuff you can put in here so you know I'm not even covering or even scratching the surface there's so many more items in here and that doesn't even cover structures so like all the all the house building parts you can pre-build a house for the players, you know. NPCs, there's nothing quite here yet. Um, I think there's some stuff coming in the future. Um, you know, I think Nelson's working on some other things with uh, NPCs and players and stuff like that. So, let's see. I'm going to put a couple of these bookshelves right in the middle just to sort of fill up the middle area. And I'm just going to arrange them around the center. And I'm going to put another one on this side as well. So that's a decent layout for, you know, a file storage area and a sort of library. You could also have registers over here on the edge for a checkout. Maybe it could be a bookstore instead of a library. So they don't rent them, they buy them. Either way works. And make sure you guys do put some books on there. Now, I'm not putting the books on there right now because obviously it takes a long time and there's lots of things you should do with those to make it look nice. But uh, make sure you have books on there as well. Now, of course, I didn't even scratch the surface of what you can do in this mall building. There's so much stuff. Uh, each of those areas could have maybe 10, 20 different options. You could have a hardware store. You could use shelf number one for that. Um, you could use shelf number four for a specific book um, library sort of area. I didn't actually use that. There's radios and toasters. You could have them for kitchen counter appliances. Um, there's also a coffee maker you could have used there. You could have filled one room with garbage. So, for example, this rundown room, you could have garbage bags in there that would all work you could have you know different types of crates for the gun shop you could have a building or a room that's dedicated to eating food and you could have picnic benches in there you could have a pool table in there and a TV as sort of like a hangout club sort of area there's so much stuff you could do and you could also put some of these lights up if you want to as sort of an optional thing so in terms of the rest of the mall, there is a few more things you could do. Uh, as you guys probably saw, I've got a fountain here. And, you know, what you could do is put that in this nice center area. So the fountain is, of course, from the Russia map. And I'm going to use the Control b Control n to put it in the exact center of the building. You could definitely put this in here. And this looks really nice. Um, 
that may already be done in the Russia map. I've not actually played it yet, so I don't have a good idea of what is available there. So another thing you can put down is actually Russia creates, uh, which number is this? Number three. So, you know, in the Russia map, I'm sure it's used for guns, but sometimes in these malls, there are like uh, violent players that do it for money. So you could put one of those around and just have it there as well. Now, in terms of trash cans, there's dumpster seven, eight, and six. Uh, I would have some sort of trash can if you're making your mall pretty fancy. Otherwise, you could just leave it empty. But you could have some trash cans in the corner here and there. Now, of course, you can use any types of those. Uh, there's different colors and stuff. Uh, it really depends on your preference. You can also copy-paste those and have them all over. So something else you could do sort of for the public in your area is put some sort of bench. Now there's a couple different types. We've got transit number one, bench wood number one, transit number three, and transit number four. Uh, transit number four won't really work that well in this area. You could sort of glitch it into a wall, but uh, I, guess, I guess you could potentially use it sort of like right here underneath the stairs, sort of as like a public seating area. That would definitely work. Uh, it's sort of reminiscent of an airport, which I think is what it was used for in the Russia map. I actually haven't played it, of course, as I said. Um, I'm sort of saving that maybe for a Let's Play. Uh, let me know if you want to see that. Okay, so one of the last things we can actually place down in our uh, mall is some of these public benches. Now, I have them placed down already um, in some of the sample spots that you could place them. Uh, there's bench wood number one. So besides that, there are actually a couple other options. We've got transit number one. That would definitely work as well. But I've placed those uh, down here, also up here, and on these ends. Now, of course, you guys could place them pretty much wherever you want, anywhere that there's room uh, up here. You could place them as well. You could possibly put three of them if you really wanted to. Uh, there's probably enough room there for that. You could put them here as well. I just felt like leaving that empty. So one of the last things I want to add is uh, some of these extra items here. So there's an ice box, a ticket box, a vendor box, and an ATM. Now I would only pick a few of these because there's not too much room. I'm going to take the ticket box and let's say the ATM. And I'm actually going to take these and put these behind here. Now I would definitely use these types of things because it's just one of those things that makes your map a little more unique. Adds a little more detail to it. But uh, there are some good spaces for these things throughout the mall. So, you know, that looks pretty good. It's just snugging them up to the wall. Uh, how you want to arrange these and space these is up to you. Whatever looks nice. But you could also put those up here against this wall. You could potentially put them against these in the free open areas or up here against this wall as well. So let's say I could put maybe like these ones on the second floor up here. And, you know, this just sort of gives it, you know, a more full, detailed, decorated feel. You know, similar to how we're putting all the trash cans and benches and stuff everywhere. So, uh, that's actually it for this mall. There's not much else I can add to that besides that there's a lot more items you can put in there. Now, of course, you guys could use pretty much any of these single builds. You could condense them all into a single room inside this mall. So definitely be creative. There's so much stuff you could do in here. And of course, you know, I probably don't have all the items you could use out here. There's so many more. You know, especially when you combine and you could use the, the barricade and the new structures and stuff from the buildables and survival. So anyway, guys, hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to do this. And uh, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.